By now, you may have heard of Apple's new product, AirTags. And if not, you clicked on the right thumbnail and by the end of this video, you'll know what AirTags are, how they work, and why you may want one for yourself. An AirTag is a small circular Bluetooth tracker that you use to keep track of everyday items. Apple's tagline for AirTags is pretty clever. Lose your knack for losing things. Nicely done. AirTags work with Bluetooth low energy and an ultra wideband chip. AirTags emit an encrypted signal that's sent to iCloud anonymously using nearby iPhones, iPads, and Macs that are all on the Find My network. Apple says there are hundreds of millions of them. There's a good Wired article. It's a deep dive on how this works. I'll link it below if you wanna read it. I got my hands on AirTags and a few accessories and I'll walk you through the setup process and how it all works. AirTags come in a pack of four for $100 or one AirTag for $30. And you can engrave them at no extra cost. They come wrapped in plastic and they have this pull tab that lets the battery make contact and powers on the AirTag automatically. If you had a Tamagotchi back in the day, the nostalgia is definitely here. The AirTag will play a chime indicating that it's on and then your iPhone will automatically try to pair with it just like AirPods. You have to be on iOS 14.5. The setup process is so simple. Apple has a list of names or items you can choose from, like backpack, keys, luggage, or you can create your own. In this case, I chose backpack. You press continue, and then you get confirmation that your AirTag will be tied to your Apple ID and phone number. Press continue again, and then you're done. AirTags show up in the item section in the Find My app. You can do a few things from here. You can make the AirTag play a sound, which is a new chime from Apple and sounds like this. One more time. Yes, AirTags have a speaker in them. I think this is important and I'll explain why later. If you have an iPhone 11 or newer, you can use precision finding to basically play hot and cold with the AirTag when you're close enough to it. The phone uses its own U1 chip and will literally point you in the right direction, as well as start vibrating faster and faster as you get closer, and show you how many feet you are from the AirTag, and you get audio cues from the phone. It feels like playing a video game. And yes, you can play the chime from that screen as well. I did a handful of testing with AirTags. I attached one on a keychain to my backpack, and then told my brother to stand on the street corner. The first go wasn't at all perfect. It kept giving me errors even though he was like 15 feet in front of me. But when I got close enough, the screen turned green and locked on with precision. I even turned around and the arrow pointed correctly. Next, I had Daron walk around the block and this time precision finding picked up the air tag from over 70 feet away. I did another test where I walked away holding an air tag and had my friend Mikele hold the iPhone stationary in front of the camera. The iPhone lost contact after I was 24 feet away and re-engaged when I was just as close. I did it again, this time the phone lost contact after 45 feet and was found at 32 feet. I think precision finding works best when the AirTag is stationary and it's your phone that's moving. I then had my brother hide an AirTag in the studio, just like if you misplace your keys in your house for example, and this took me a bit, but I found it and it was kind of fun. I think precision finding is awesome. The combination of haptic feedback, the visual cues, and the chime will absolutely help you pinpoint your misplaced glasses case in your house, or if you left your bag in your car, it'll be great in those scenarios. Going back to the Find My app for a second, when you tap an AirTag, you can also put it in lost mode. If you've ever lost an iPhone and put it in lost mode, it's pretty similar. It locks your AirTag so no one else can pair to it, and you can leave your number and a message in case someone finds it and they can get in contact with you. In the items tab, you can press identify found item, and using NFC, you hold your phone over the AirTag and a message will pop up with a phone number to call the person whose AirTag it is. AirTags have a user replaceable battery and you get in there by unscrewing the stainless steel back, which scratches very easily, so beware. The battery is a pretty standard coin-shaped battery. It's a CR2032. Apple says an AirTag battery should last about a year and you'll get notified when it's time to replace them. There's also a battery indicator right in the Find My app. Also, AirTags are IP67 dust and water resistant. It'll survive one meter underwater for up to 30 minutes. Good to know. 
I think air tags are a great idea and you can get pretty creative with where you put them. Like in a Pelican case while traveling or in the inner zipper pocket of a satchel or in your sunglasses case or attached to a custom Tom Sachs boosted board remote or gorilla taped to a really important drive or in one of your favorite hats, yes, there is an air tag in here. Maybe you can attach one to your pet's collar if you have like an outdoor cat or a dog that loves to roam in the backyard. Of course, it'll make sense to attach one of these to your luggage, to put one on your keychain. Those are obvious. But what's stopping a thief from unscrewing the back and taking out the battery or just unclipping it from your bag and tossing it in the garbage? Yeah, it's better to have an air tag than not to have an air tag, but these aren't theft proof. But if you're prone to losing stuff and you have an iPhone, you should definitely get one. It'd be cool if there was motion detect mode in AirTags. Let's say you hid one in your bike somewhere and a thief stole it and started riding away. You could get notified that your item is moving. AirTags have an accelerometer. There's no GPS and there's no cellular radio. So I don't actually know if that would work, but it would be cool. Also, I'd like to see Apple improve the precision finding screen by incorporating the camera. There's a Mac Rumors article from like two years ago that detailed a red balloon. Imagine if you held up your iPhone with the camera open and then you saw a red balloon in the distance and then as you walked closer to it, the balloon grew in size and then on the bottom of the balloon string would be your air tag hanging there and that's where it would be in real life. I think that would be neat and clearly Apple's already thought about this so hopefully we'll see it one day. Also, how is there no adhesive or built-in keychain loop? I get it, Apple wants to sell you accessories but still. Oh. Remember at the beginning when I said the speaker in the AirTag is important? Many years ago, I had an iPhone stolen out of my back pocket at a bar and I got it back using Find My iPhone. I was just hammering the play sound button and heard it in the person's jacket pocket. With AirTags, Apple provides a handful of cues, visual, audio, and haptic. All of those combined make finding misplaced items much easier. If you couldn't tell, I am psyched that AirTags are finally out. I'm gonna toss one in my backpack for sure and definitely put one on my keys. If you have any questions or concerns about AirTags, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. And if this is your first Sam Sheffer video, welcome to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button on the way out of here and drop me a sub to show your support. Thanks for watching.